What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one. Today we're going to be taking a look at Thunder Extreme Snooze, the red. And before we go any further, let's get a look at the presentation. So you got an all plastic can, you've got the disposal lid, as with other Swedish Match and Pinkerton products and pouches. Uh, you've got the five circles filled in for the nicotine level. 24 portions, red strong. Um, side label pretty similar. Warning label. And then on the back is where we have our information. Thunder Extreme Red Strong, 24 snooze portions. Sale allowed in the United States, 100% premium imported tobacco. Net weight 0.9 ounces, manufactured in Denmark and distributed by Swedish Match, North America, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, best before, May 11th, 2019, and then we have our ingredients at the bottom. Um, as you know, I've been having audio problems with this phone. Um, did a couple things. I've actually propped it up so all the, all the microphone locations that I've determined are actually should have space on all sides of them and I turned off a feature in accessibility called phone noise cancellation so I don't roll the dice fingers crossed but I have my doubts I think something's wrong hardware wise and I'm just kind of out of luck so we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes um, so the side label on this is more of like a plastic um, Skull Ready Cut, if you remember that. Skull Snooze has the similar side band instead of a paper wrap. Um, now, I think this is supposed to be a berry flavor. Maybe. Maybe. There's like, there's almost a, a, a slight hint of fruit but there's an original snooze background to it. Um, here are your pouches. Interesting thing about these, number one, they don't have to be refrigerated, um, like general snooze. And number two, general usually comes in a whole nice little pattern, circular uh, within the can. These are thrown in pretty much the same as, as dip pouches are. Uh, take a look at the pouch. You do get a pretty significant sized pouch. Um, uh, dark tobacco within, um, it's got a little moisture, less moist than dip, however, more moist than white portion snooze that I've had. Um, we'll take, we'll, we'll do one, we'll see where that gets us, maybe a second, but since this is the extra strong and all that, I think one should do it. So this actually wasn't found on my trip. Um, as you know, I did one of the Thunder Snooses previously. Um, did the here white label. And I've got to do the original strong, yet this was just original. Uh, so those are the three options that are available in the U.S. at the moment. Um, they previously you know we're not until very recently if you go on their website they have a store locator and you can take a look at if it's available in your area or not um you're probably not going to find it in a gas station i went and i i just without knowing about the locator or anything i just stumbled on it in a, in a tobacco shop up in northeastern pennsylvania um so uh, you know that's probably going to be your your spot for it and it's probably going to be a place that already has general, um, and just in all likelihood, that's where you're going to find it. So, of course, spit-free. Now, keep in mind, as a dipper, I, uh, spitting is second nature, so if I go ahead and grab this and somebody is going to say, why are you spitting? Well, because I, it's just kind of part of the whole deal for me. Um, I, I don't have a problem not doing it however i'm just so used to it that i might i may occasionally go ahead and grab the mud jug anyway um price on this 
I'm thinking it was, it's been a little bit since I bought these, it's been a few weeks, but I'm thinking it was like four bucks a can and then they had a dollar off coupon at the register. Um, so, you know, that puts it kind of premium. Uh, I think general spiked up in price a little bit. So it's probably somewhere in between, say, Skull Snooze and general um, price-wise. So I, I would say with both this and general, and I'm going to venture to say probably the other Swedish Snooses as well, the, the pouch itself feels very comfortable. Um, most dip pouches do as well. Sometimes with the cheaper brands, you get, you get bad pouches, you get too much paper on them, or you get... Um, you know at the ends or whatever or you get um, a pouch that rips open and there's tobacco everywhere and it's fine cut and all that but with the with the Swedish snooses I, I've never had a problem um, with that so taste on it this is where it gets a little weird um, there is a berry it's not like skull berry it's not like over-the-top berry flavor although I don't really think skull berry is as bad as as the community will tell you but that that is more like berry flavor and almost no tobacco here you get a slight berry it, it's building up more now as it's getting going um, just wanted to spit to see if I get a better taste for it um, there is still that original snooze flavor, tobacco flavor, that I found present in all general that weren't mint. Um, it's, it's got a certain, I don't know, spice to it, something. Um, I think somebody, someone somewhere referred to it as like a bergamot tea type of thing um maybe it, i think it, it, it at the end of the day it, it is the natural flavor of snooze that i'm tasting but to the american dipper it tastes a little foreign our naturals were used to that salty tobacco um where this it's more of some sort of spiced flavor in the background once again it's not overpowering it's it, it's just a little bit different than what i'm used to um, so it, it, it does make for a little different combination, um, because that comes through almost as much as the flavor that they're going for here. Um, all right. Anyway, um, so the, the flavor makes for a little combination that I'm not necessarily attracted to. Um, but it, it's not bad by any means. Um, I am glad that Swedish Match has put this out on the market because on the American market, snooze is very limited unless you're ordering overseas. Um, there, there is just not a lot to pick from. And I suppose me as a dipper, I never got around to ordering overseas because there's just enough product that I like in the dip world to keep me occupied, if you will. So... From a dipper's perspective, it, it is a little bit different. However, I don't think that makes it necessarily a bad thing. Um, and I would recommend trying it out. Uh, of course, there's advantages of snooze over dipping and, and things of that nature. But I will kind of leave all that to the snooze experts out there. Uh, go check out uh, Snooze Freak, uh, Snoopy. They, they really are very good at what they do. Um, I haven't really interacted with them much, but I will gladly shout them out because I know they are kind of the experts in, in their kind of field, their, their niche. Um, however, I know Snoopy's been trying dip pouches lately. I did, I didn't get to watch him, all of them, but I did see that he had tried some Timberwolf and, and stuff like that. So, but yeah. This is definitely not bad. It's cool. Check it out if you can find it for sure. Um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Like I said, the, the natural snooze flavor doesn't appeal to me necessarily. Um, 
but and the berry is mild uh so you know it's i was kind of expecting more uh but yeah it's pretty mild nicotine is definitely there um i recorded recording this after the smoker friendly and i could definitely feel some nicotine um off of only one of these so definitely definitely strong um yeah seven out of ten from me make sure to check out suit and tie dip and chew guy full or not full review but winnington outdoors maryland dipper wayside lee 83 and dirty pat walsh uh we are over 2300 subscribers so that is absolutely awesome uh thank you and uh that's gonna do it for today uh probably gonna crank out some more videos tonight and upload them throughout the week so if you enjoyed leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you in the next one take care